Now, in the past few minutes, the five nominees have been announced for this year's BBC's Women's Footballer of the Year Award. They'll try and follow in the steps of Nigeria's Osasat Oshishwala and Scotland's Kim Little. You can decide the, the winner as the public vote is now open at bbc.com slash women's football. Yes, one, two. Our goal was to win a medal, and at the end, we even got gold. That, of course, was an amazingly beautiful feeling. I have never before made it to the finals at the Olympics, and that alone was an enormous success for me. And because of that, I knew then that I would stop after the Olympics. I was lifting the Champions League trophy. Such a great feeling. Winning with the team after so many months of hard work and having the same ambition. I must say it was more, much more special than I thought it would be, uh, winning the Ch Champions League. I had studied them so closely, so I went the right way all five times, and I managed to save two. And the last save in that penalty shootout is probably the one that I'm most proud of because it was quite far out and I could stretch and I was really close to get there. No one could have expected us to come away with the silver, so we performed over everyone's expectations. It was an exciting time. It was a big rush. But it was worth it because it was a historic moment for me and I think overall for women's football. It was thrilling. I remember my first couple years on the national team and thinking, how the heck did Mia Hamm score so many goals in her career? Like, no one's ever going to reach that. And I mean, I had her jersey growing up, and to think that I passed her last year is kind of, kind of crazy. Yeah, it's going to be a tight contest, isn't it? You can vote for the Women's Footballer of the Year at our website. Just get on bbc.com slash sport. You can follow me and my colleagues on Twitter. I'm at Nick MMBBC. Uh, that is it from Sport Today. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>